Hi, my name's Ben Lackey. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy Couchbase, both our server and sync gateway products, using the Azure Marketplace. If you have any questions after you watch the video, feel free to send me an email, ben.lackey at couchbase.com, or say hi on Twitter at Ben. ben. Okay, so let's get started. First off, I'm going to switch over to my web browser, which I have open to the public pages for Azure Marketplace. I'm already logged in with my account. Uh, my account is a pay-as-you-go account, and I would previously opened a support ticket with Azure to have my core quota raised from the default of 10 cores up to uh, their maximum of 200 cores. If you have a free trial you're trying to deploy on, uh, there's a limit of four cores, so you'll probably want to move your free trial to a pay-as-you-go account. Uh, EAs, enterprise agreements, have much larger core quotas, so more flexibility there. All right, so that's basically your only prerequisite. Uh, in order to deploy, uh, I can just type in Couchbase here, and you see an autocomplete suggestion. I can also hit enter. Uh, and now I'm at the page for Couchbase. Oh, wants me to give it feedback. Not right now. Okay, so there are a couple different things here. There's a description of what Couchbase is. There are a number of screenshots of the product once deployed. And there are also some links down here. Uh, documentation, our support page, uh, landing page, and this one's probably my favorite here at the bottom. Uh, it's a link to a bunch more links. So these are other resources to help you get started on Azure. Anyway, to deploy, we click the Get It Now button. And there are two options here. There's a Bring Your Own License option in the case you have a license outside of Azure. Uh, there's also a silver support option, and this includes our silver support and has an hourly cost associated with it. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit continue. At this point, I get redirected to portal.azure.com, and it wants me to authenticate to log in here, and goes through a bunch of different redirects. And okay, so now we're at the Couchbase page inside portal.azure.com, and this is sort of the authenticated marketplace page. If you're already logged into portal.azure.com, you can also navigate directly to this uh, rather than going through the steps we just did. So very similar to the page we were looking at a moment ago. To deploy, I just click Create. And now it loads our first, uh, this is called a blade. And it wants uh, several different fields. So one is a username. And this is going to be the username to log into Couchbase, uh, as well as to SSH into our machines. I'm going to use the username Couchbase. Microsoft blacklists a number of different usernames, including things like administrator and root. For the password, this needs to include three out of four of a lowercase letter, uppercase letter, number, and simple. So I'm going to type something in there and make sure it matches and type something in there. Finally, we need to create a resource group. And uh, this is kind of a logical container for all the things we're going to be deploying in here, VM scale sets, disks, NICs, and so forth. I'm going to call mine Ben MP for Marketplace. Uh, checks it exists, it, it does not exist, and we're all good. Finally, I can pick the location I want to deploy in. Uh, Azure has a large number of different regions, and whatever location I pick for the resource group is going to be where my cluster is deployed. So I'll just leave West US, that's fine. Next up, we have configuring the actual cluster. So there are different machine sizes available. I'll just take the default here. Then there's a question of how many server nodes I want to deploy. 
and how big the disk is going to be for each of those server nodes. Uh, this disk is Microsoft's premium storage. This is SSD-backed storage that's encrypted by default uh, and comes in a number of different sizes, but we'll just take the default size. Finally, uh, there are how many different sync gateway nodes I want. So I'll just take the default of two. Hit OK, and now it validates the parameters I've passed in uh, and just checks that those are all OK and the template's OK. So that passed. If I want to download the template, I can also click on this link. But what I typically suggest instead of that is you look at our other video on how to get the template from GitHub and deploy it there. Okay. Uh, finally, it loads up the EULAs, and this is both the Azure EULA as well as the Couchbase EULA. And by clicking Purchase here, we agree to that, and the deployment begins. And you can see here this tile, it's beginning to deploy, plus we got a message up here. So I can even click on this and see what it's doing so far. It hasn't been running very long, clearly. Uh, I can drill down into the resource group and see what exists. So all we have at the moment is the network security group. At this point, I'm going to pause the recording and wait several minutes while uh, this completes. Okay, so we're back. I just got a message saying that the deployment had succeeded, and I'm now looking at the resource group with four things it created. A network security group, basically firewall rules, uh, VM scale sets containing both server and sync gateway, and then a virtual network that all these objects exist within. I can click here on deployments and see the output of that, and it looks like this took nearly five minutes to run. So that's great. Uh, the other thing I can do is I can click here and drill into it, and I can see the outputs. And there are two outputs here. There's uh, the URL of the first node in the cluster, as well as the sync gateway URL. And if I click copy here and open a new tab, paste that into my web browser, I can pull up Couchbase, enter in the username and password from before, hit enter, and you can see my new cluster up and running. Uh, looks like two nodes are still pending rebalance, but we can do that manually too. Uh, and, and now those uh, run in rebalance. I can also go over here to server nodes and I see each of these is bound to my public DNS and, and then drill in and, and look at those. Now, if we go back to the portal again, I can do the same thing for Sync Gateway. So copy this, paste this in here, and pull up my Sync Gateway node. And we can see that uh, is running and up and configured. One more thing we can do with Sync Gateway, we have port 4984 open. So uh, we can see that running as well. So that's it. A few clicks and wait about five minutes and we have a cluster up and running and ready to use on Azure. If you have any questions about this, feel free to drop me a line and more than happy to help out. Thanks.